Welcome to the ninth session in our series of videos on how to critically appraise a randomized controlled trial following the CASP checklist. In this session, we'll answer the ninth question. Do the benefits of the experimental intervention outweigh the harms and costs? The first point we're asked to consider is the size of the treatment effect. The effect size will tell us whether the treatment being tested made a meaningful difference between the intervention and control groups. Effect size is usually interpreted according to Cohen's benchmarks, which suggest that 0.2 represent a small effect size, 0.5 represent a medium effect size, and 0.8 a large effect size. In the discussion section on page 816, the authors report a size effect of 0.51, which is similar to what other studies found. Based on Cohen's guideline, this is a medium effect size. We're then asked to look at whether harms or unintended effects were reported for each study group. Table 3 in the safety section lists the various adverse effects with the percentage of patients who experienced them in each group. The discussion section comments on the safety issue. X-ray checks didn't show any drug-related abnormalities. The authors conclude that their findings are in line with the known safety profile for duloxetine and no new safety concerns were reported. And still in the discussion section, the authors report that the results of the study showed a significant improvement in pain reductions and health-related quality of life in the duloxetine group. The last point asks us to consider whether a cost-effectiveness analysis was conducted, and the answer is no, since the study doesn't cover the cost of the drug. So what is the answer to question 9? The study showed that the treatment effect was medium, adverse effects were reported in both the duloxetine and placebo groups, safety was reviewed and proved to be in line with previous studies on duloxetine, and significant improvement in pain reduction and health-related quality of life were observed in the duloxetine group. However, there was no cost-effectiveness analysis. As a result, we can't really tell whether the benefits of the study drug outweigh the harms as well as the costs.